Steve Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's, I don't know, man, this is like a history maker, right? The Apache pickup, the Apache pickup. It just sounds amazing. It's a compliment to the Indians because the Indians were tough people. The Apache was named after tough people. And this is a beautiful, beautiful truck, just like the Apaches were beautiful people, right? Anyway, uh, this one here, a step above a standard Apache. I mean, a big difference here. We're talking about upgraded things like air conditioning, uh, power disc brakes, power steering, digital sound system, custom interiors, custom colors, custom bed. Like there's really nothing left of this vehicle that hasn't been uh, massaged, plated, chromed, polished, replaced, restored. And as we walk around it, you are just going to see uh, some of the things that I think I think make great styling. For instance, before we even move on to paint and quality and things like that, I love this piece, right? Look at that, man. No other pickup truck in the world pulls off this cool thing with the, uh, the call out of the vehicle. Typically it's down here or it's small or whatever. This is a styling piece. I focus this part of the video on the front of the car because I get this all the time. That's a great looking truck, but we don't really know why it's a great looking truck, right? So you need to see some of the effort the stylists put into building this. I talked about the emblem here a minute ago, and then this ridge that sits inside here. When you go down the side of the truck, this piece of the bed here, this piece of the bed ends with the taillight in it, right? How cool is that? That's a thing that, that only back in these 50s that you get, like the Bel Airs with, the, with the, all of the airplane features in it. Here we have this piece here, the hood, instead of it just being flat, right, the flat pickup truck hood, it's got this styling piece here. This is why these are so popular, because it goes on and on, right? Dual headlights, dual headlights were a great feature back then, and these fenders come over the top of the headlights, so it already looks like it's moving fast, it's like it's already going. Killer grill. This is all brand new, all been rechromed. New bumpers, uh, new stainless fasteners. And you look around, that's an important piece too. Like, for instance, stainless fastener. You say, Tone, what is the big deal about a fastener? Why do you ramble on about that? Well, I'll tell you why I ramble on about that is because if the person bought stainless fasteners, which are 10 times the price of just plain old nuts and bolts, right? Like these Allen head ones right here, right? That means that they didn't take shortcuts other places too. That means you're getting a better vehicle. You see these things all the time like I do, and you see this right here is a telltale sign of a nicer truck. All right, so when we talk about mirror finish paint, we, we need to know what does that mean, right? Not the fact that you can see this piece of paper in the paint, but you can read every letter. The clearer the letter, the better the paint quality. Why is that? Well, because then the paint is nice and flat. It's not getting the light caught down inside the, the mountains inside paint. It's also wet sanded, buffed, show wax and detailed. And here's how you know that. Check that out, Sunset Orange Pearl. And it is just beautiful. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood because why do we need to do that? Because we care about what it looks like under here, right? We're going to go to a car show maybe, or our friends are going to come over and go, what you got under there, man, right? I'm going to get that all the time, and I'm going to show them what I got, right? I have a beautifully detailed and restored engine compartment, right? With a fresh 355 Chevrolet, right? With power steering, with modern air conditioning and heat, right? Painted firewall, because it was all taken apart when this vehicle was restored. This is painted satin black inside here, which is really nice. We have a billet engine dress up kit. I'll make sure that the pictures get posted, but the vehicle kind of just came in and I wanted to make sure that we got that up, but this is the stock kind of chrome setup. The, what I have for it is worthy of the truck. It'll be billet valve cover and billet air cleaner. I'll make sure we get those uh, updated as well. Um, nice big radiator, it's 50% bigger than the factory radiator that was in it. Uh, and you can see all of the new steering box. You can see here, uh, all brand new wiring in the, in the truck, right? This is the stuff you need to be looking at. Shiny paint does not make a great vehicle, right? Because there's so much more that goes on. You can see all of the brand new wiring, all the colors are right there all wired, front to back, all brand new. New stainless, the lights are working the way they're supposed to, right? All this stuff detailed under here. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about show trucks. All right, so I find beautifully restored trucks 
uh, kind of a canvas. And you say, what does that mean, Tom? Well, what it means is that somebody's done all the hard work. If I want to add a couple small touches that I like, for instance, like if you wanted to paint the insides of the Chevrolet like some people do, you could pick the color. We could do that for you before you got the car. But what I wanted to show you is this. All of this here from the LED tail lights to the trim rings to the bumpers to the brackets to the Flowmaster exhaust, like all of that stuff's new. And then you're looking at like cool little stuff that goes on. I know that you're probably paying full attention to me while all this is happening, but this is just a cool little piece, right? You're standing there talking to some people, thinking about maybe having a, a tailgate uh, event. And sure enough, boom, you got tailgating here. This right here is kind of cool because it's coated and you can put some chairs in here, go to an event, go uh, to a party, go to hang out somewhere with the, with the gang, with the kids. Like people are not used to hanging out in the back of a pickup truck like this. That's not what they normally do. Having a cool truck like this with that awesome piece of glass in the back. Look at the wraparound piece of glass. You could never find that in a pickup truck today. That's what I mean when I say the styling from these tail lights that are uh, mounted here and inside the uh, tailgate as well. And then onto the glass, all the little stuff here that just makes, I don't know, makes me smile when I think about that. All right, so come join me inside because although the outside is beautiful, this is not where you're going to be hanging out. You're going to be hanging out in here, and I'll show you what I mean by that. This is truly a $10,000 interior, right? When we talk about little stuff that makes for creature comforts, right? Full custom interior, door panels, seats, headliner, custom painted two-tone dash, right? upgraded retro sound radio. That's not a stock AM radio. This is a digital sound system, right? Uh, that you can stream your music to. Full array of custom gauges and a mounted uh, and a custom dash mount there. Tilt wheel, which I showed you, the wood and stainless steering wheel here. Electric bed that goes down. This is cool, man. You put three people in here comfortable. You got this cool console right here. I don't think that, that I don't think that when you drive these, you can't do anything but smile because when you're driving, people love them. They, they, you're getting the thumbs up, you're getting a high five, you're getting all that stuff because people remember a time like this and it makes them happy. It's a different world back in the 50s and when you wheel these out. This is amongst a lot of other supermodels in the showroom while we're doing the video. However, this vehicle out on the road gathers attention like no other vehicle. It is amazing. Not to mention the creature comforts of having modern air conditioning and modern heat, right? Power steering, power disc brakes, tilt steering, digital sound system, custom gauges. It's showing 755 miles since it was restored. To me, that's pretty impressive. All right, so we closed up this video and, and I think to myself, this is, this is a lot of work, man. You just don't understand because people say, again, I'm back to the original statement was, that's a great looking truck, but we don't know why. We looked at amazing paint, right? We looked at amazing custom interior, but then we didn't talk, well, we did talk about it, but we need to revisit where a lot of the dollars were spent. All new wiring, upgraded heating and air conditioning system, power disc brakes, power steering, uh, 18 and 20 inch alloys on here, all new chrome, stainless, and what have you. This is an amazing, amazing truck, and it drives even better. Call us, 301-816-1000. I will tell you all about it. Don't forget to uh, share the video if you would, please, and like it down at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. We're always putting new content out there, and I think that uh, you'll find some good stuff coming. And I will see you on the test drive. All right, so what I do like to do is I like to make sure that you get to see this, what it looks like outside of the showroom, surrounded by other supermodels, because here, now it is a mega supermodel, right? You're walking up to your truck, Chevrolet Apache 1958. We're doing this video in 2023, man. Think about how long ago this thing came off the assembly line and it is fabulous, all right? So we got it all cambered up, ready to go for our ride. And uh, I say we get in the truck and let's roll. In the summer of 69. All right, so what's it like to drive a Chevrolet Apache custom pickup? Well, what it's like to drive is happiness, man, quite honestly. You're wheeling down the road. Uh, people are all the time. We're giving you a thumbs up. I hope you're cool with that because if you do decide to go forward and get it, that's what you're going to get. And uh, this one here just listen to it. I wanted to say uh, 
Do you not hear anything? You know what you don't hear? Rattles and squeaks, right? No rattles and squeaks. It drives down the road so nice. The little tires look great on it. Just a beautiful day to go for a drive. One of the things I do like to do is every time I drive them is I like to, to fine tune the details, right? I noticed today that this needs the center, the steering wheel centered. And so I'll do that when I get it back to the shop. That's why when you get a car from us, right? I'm not saying that every car is perfect and they're brand new 2023s, but the truth is you can jump in it and go for a drive today and it's awesome. And that's the reality of driving an amazing, amazing custom pickup like this as we're wheeling around these side roads. And it handles nicely too, especially for a truck. Wow, this is great. All right, well, thank you guys for riding with me. And uh, did we have some fun today? Oh yeah, we did. All right, see you on the next one.